Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bigg, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. I would like to welcome you to the joy of music. Today on the program, we're going to be featuring music of the great composer George Friedrich Handel, known as the noble prince of music. Handel, as a composer, wrote an avalanche of music, of which the most famous is his oratorio, Messiah. I would like to begin the program by playing one of Handel's most famous compositions, Water Music. Water Music was written for King George I of England, and it was originally written for orchestra. However, today on the program, I will be playing it on the great Rufati pipe organ.
Carl was born in the year 1685 in Hall, Germany. Within one month of the birth of the other great composer, Johann Sebastian Bach. Handel's talent was evident at a young age, but his father, being a businessman and a surgeon, just really wasn't interested in the frivolities of music for his son. But one day, the Duke of Weisenfels heard Handel at the age of eight years playing a postlude in a church service. He went to his father and he said, I really encourage you to develop the talent of your son. And so from that time on, Handel studied music and his instruments were the organ, the harpsichord, the violin, and the oboe. Handel was really the first composer to write a concerto for the organ with orchestral accompaniment. We're going to hear a part of one of those concertos now. It is a concerto known as the Cuckoo and the Nightingale. And Handel was so masterful at writing delightful melodies. And you will actually hear the bird calls in this concerto. Following the organ concerto, we will hear another concerto of Handel for harp and organ, the concerto in B flat.
Carl spent a part of his life in Italy, where he studied the Italian form of operatic writing. He took what he learned back to England, and there he wrote great oratorios and operas. We are going to hear now a work which was taken out of one of his operas, Xerxes, and this is known as the famous Largo. You will hear it as played by Stacy Blair, trumpeter. Stacy is one of the greatest trumpeters in the world. He is the recent winner of the Maurice Andre trumpet competition in Paris and travels full time playing concerts all over the world. Handel was the composer of the most famous oratorio ever written, Messiah. We are going to end the program today by playing and singing the most famous piece from Messiah, the Hallelujah Chorus. Handel wrote Messiah in an incredibly short time of 24 days. When he was writing the Hallelujah Chorus, his servant came into the room and found him with tears in his eyes. He heard Handel exclaim, I feel as though I have seen heaven and the great God himself.
You've been listening on the joy of music today to compositions of one of the greatest composers of all time, George Friedrich Handel. God gave to Handel the gift of composition and music. And as we have heard in the program today and heard in the Hallelujah Chorus, the words of scripture, Handel used his music and his talent to glorify God. Thank you so much for joining us today on the program, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. The Joy of Music, featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish, has come to you from the sanctuary of Coral Ridge Church, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. For more information on Diane Bish and today's program, write The Joy of Music, Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711.